Hello my friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I have a flip through of a finished journal for you today. So my name is Sherry and welcome to my craft room. Uh, let's get started with a flip through of this book. Um, this is the goodie pack which I will show you in a m few minutes. But uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun of course. I always have fun with my journals. And uh, again, like I said, I looked. I talked about uh, when I was working on the pages on that on that video. I had talked about I didn't look up the year from this yet, or if I did, I forgot because I've had this cover for a while. And so I looked it up after the video, and it said I found one exactly like this. You know, same coloring. It looked like the same edition, everything, and it said 1911. So. That is uh, very antique, <laughs> if, if you know what I mean, over a hundred years old. So I was delighted to figure that out. But here's the cover as this one, as my, this one that I had looked. I used this wire coil or O wire binding. And I had to make a back cover because I, all I had was this front cover. So uh, what I did was make a cover and I had showed that to you. But in the end, I decided to add a little, it just looked kind of plain, like I need, and even though I had this pretty, I put this pretty scrapbook paper on here that I had coffee dyed and everything, so the edges here, um, I did uh, distress around the edges and everything to make it, you know, blend in with the cover, the antique cover, <laughs> so, but it still looked a little plain, so I looked around in my trims and things and found a couple pieces that I thought would look very pretty. So I added this, this uh, I'm going to call it lace, a lace trim. It's kind of scalloped on this side and it has these raised kind of em almost maybe embroidered, I don't know, but little flowers. And then I added this too. It just looked really pretty with the whole black over here and then you've got black here and then the pretty. You know, I just thought it really um, made the back cover special too. So then I have... Um, let me show you the sides and everything and you can I left it so it was peeking out over the back so when you turn it to the side and things you see that little trim there and I put some on the inside of the cover here which you will see in a moment too and then I added this tassel which I had already made a while ago and I had never put it I had never put it on Etsy I had never I just made it on a video and never decided what to do with it you know whether to put it with a journal whether to sell it you know it's kind of special. It's the only one I've ever made like it. It's not that I can't make another one. It's just that I've never made another one like this. So it's hung on a kind of a... Let me take it off. It's removable. And it's kind of a different kind of little pin here. So I kind of even have to remember how to get it off here. But it... Uh, let's see. It pushes in on one. I think there's a hinge on one side and the other side you push in like a pin. I may even have to pause and figure it out. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. So it you push in on one side, like this side with a little circle on it is a hinge, and then you push on this side and it un, 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 attaches. But, so it's detachable, so I have a little bit of kind of, you know, crochet lace there, a chain. And this is an old bobbin that I had picked up with a bunch of sewing stuff. You know how I get a bunch of, you know, fine sewing lots or whatever in thrift stores and so I had found this old metal bobbin of course this doesn't metal bobbins don't work in my sewing machine so I used it here on this tassel and it even has a thread on it that came on it that you know that's how it was when I got it I added some trims and laces here I've got a little piece of this is a little, and there's a uh, metal eyelet here, and it's attached with a jump ring onto here, onto the bobbin. So it's a little piece of um, measuring tape. I've got a beaded dangle here, a wax seal, another beaded dangle, and then all the pretty, uh, these are all attached onto one uh, kind of good size jump ring, but a bunch of little trims and laces. And a doily so I will put that to the side for now but I think it's really uh, kind of special so put that to the side and then we'll take a tour of the book here so as you open up uh, this was plain in here 
And so I covered it with this pretty scrap of paper, which is the same colors. I thought it went really well with the front of the book, as you can see. The green here, and then you open up to more green. And then here's that trim that I used on the back. I used the same bit here, and it peeks out over the edge. So let's just go through. So there's a flip out here. This is coffee dyed scrapbook paper. I wanted some color in here and I wanted some pretty, some pretty, I'm going to call it pretty. <laughs> and that's what I call my scrapbook papers. They're pretty papers, right? So I wanted some pretty in here as well as vintage electric type papers. I just think it really um, adds something to the journal when you have some pretty papers in here. So I've got a couple pieces here. This is one of my scrappy tags that's sewn around. And this is a little picture that I cut out. It was in a music book, like, uh, you know, just a regular piano book or something. It was uh, on the inside cover, and it looked like a yearbook picture or something, but it was inside of a music book. And I already showed you this here, where I added a piece. This was a piece from a music book, and it, um, I cut off the other piece, and I, you know, made a tuck spot that I showed you the other day. So here is that uh, piece I cut off because it was too long. It's about... Uh, this is maybe seven, so it's about ten inches long. So I put that extra three or four inches right here. Made a tuck spot. It's sewn on. I added this piece here with a little. This is a little cluster right here, and then two little scra scrappy uh, journaling card and a little tiny tag here. This just has a number on it, which you know I I love numbers, so it just has a little number on it. <laughs> so uh, this is a little tag I made with some paints and doodling <clears throat> book page and this is the other side of that this little thing here that was in the music book it had a little flap on it so I wrapped the flap around here and it's sewn down right there but it makes a little tuck spot over here so that I just tucked a little tag in there so I you know we did the pages together so you saw a lot of the pages um, but not all of them so this is uh, just some children's writing paper that's really cool it has you know numbers and pictures on it and all the pages in here are from, you know, thrift stores, their scrapbook paper, you know, all recycled, nothing, uh, nothing really printed out except for like this right here. This was printed out. This is left from my design team days, which has been years ago now, but I still have pieces floating around here in my craft room that I wanted to use. Like I didn't want to not use them and I think they're beautiful. Uh, this particular piece I had printed out on, this is actually a file folder. And isn't it gorgeous? So it's on this little flip here, which I did not glue down. So if someone can glue it down, like say they wanted to glue it here, it could be a little flip up. Or they can journal in here on the whole thing and just keep it as a little, um, you know, tag topper or page topper. Or you could even kind of glue it down here at the top and have a flip up on both sides, you know what I mean? You could have a flip up here, have a flip up over here. And this is pretty coffee dyed uh, scrapbook paper here too. And then this is some of the paper that we went over together that we um, put in together in the video where we're working on the pages. So just some nice lined, uh, this was, I called this a big check register. It just looks, it was a whole page with, that looked like the spaces were for checks, you know, keeping track of your check, your bank account. <laughs> so this is a pretty piece of scrapbook paper here. So it is a large fold out. So on both sides you have the scrapbook paper on this side and then the coffee dyeing on this side. And I put a little, a little um, milk cap there and that is authentic, original. Uh, I've never printed out any any milk cap so this is original and then uh, this is uh, just a book page here so this is a fun paper clip that I had picked up some of these bigger paper clips from I don't know where I got these a Tuesday morning or a thrift store I'm not sure but I put a little bee dangle on it a pretty little bee dangle and it holds together let me put it back on here and then I'll slip everything back under there but uh, I this could be some of these things you can put together and make little ephemera with. Like this is a little piece of, I like this paper. I got it in a scrap pack. It's kind of yellowish on this side, but here it's kind of a glittery gold. And I've been using it for belly bands. So you could make a belly band out of this. This is a sales tag, or you can make a tag out of it. 
and just you know the things in that I put in here is made for you to use your imagination and put things together you know what I mean so I didn't put them together for you I'm gonna let you have the fun of putting things together on this side is a couple of uh, receipts so it's the two copies it's the white copy and the yellow copy that go together it says 19 something there so you know it's their vintage those are original coffee dye paper um, you know I love to put coffee dye paper in my vintage journals so you know it's just it's just like a must <laughs> for me and this is just a piece of ephemera I had. We talked about this piece where it's about, uh, it was about sewing technique, a, a sewing technique. This is, was an end paper or a fly leaf in one of the books uh, I took apart and I thought it was beautiful. So it is old and vintage. And this is all natural aging on here. It's pretty scrapbook paper. Uh, this is a recipe. I've been trying to put one of my handwritten recipes in each of my recent journals over the last month or so and so this is a one a little one because this is a smaller journal I wanted to put a little bit smaller one in here like a three by five card it's kind of a papery but it is handwritten by someone barbecue chicken sauce and it's got a cute little pot over there so I thought that was super cute that is there this is a um, piece piece that I had from Virginia Holding Corporation and it's a pink piece of a uh, receipt or something it's from 1938 and I did a fold out of it so and this is another piece here with lines just a piece of paper that oh this is more of the check paper anyway I added one of my little this is a cardstocky piece that I was from uh, wrapped around one of my like seam binding type paper you know trims or whatever but this one is cardstock most of mine are paper and this one was cardstock and it just this color I really liked for this journal and so I put it right here as like a tab or extra piece of you can write on that or whatever just extra paper there to do something with and then this is that paper that I turned around I told you it's craft paper and it was from a six ring planner or a journal and I turned it around left the holes over here so you can weave something through the holes or put little you know a little something on each one a little uh, ribbon or something and tie bows all the way down just you know whatever you want to do it would be fun a scrappy journaling card that's sewn around and this is another little tag this little pictures from a reader's digest and a little piece of uh, trim there as a tab so that was here so when you see this uh, Sorry, I get this back on here. When you see this video, this will be in my shop. <clears throat> this is a I thought this was gorgeous. It looks like if somebody was trying to coffee dye a piece of uh, paper and they put, you know, a pattern on here, maybe some kind of tablecloth or all right, like a placemat, you know how people do. I thought it looked like that, but it's scrapbook paper and I just thought it was so beautiful and all the shading on here is uh well, it's coffee dyed on the back. But it's from the between the scrap of paper and the coffee dyeing is this is how it looks and I just thought it turned out really beautiful. This is coffee dye paper. This is the little card I showed you that I cut in half and I, there's another half of this in the back here somewhere. But I put it in here because it had this little tab on it. This is August and it's almost August. When you see this video it will be August. <laughs> so this is that time card that I used in here and we made it into a pocket. Oh, I don't have anything in the pocket. I thought I did. Hold on. Let me grab something. Just one second. I'm going to pause. Here we go. I found a beautiful tag to put in there. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the colors on here. It's backed with coffee dyed file folder, a little muslin type topper, and gorgeous colors. So that will go in there. And you can write on the back, of course. So a little flip out here. This is the resume paper that I haven't used. I said I wanted to use. So there you go. A little flip out on that one. Uh, this is the scrapbook paper pocket over here. This little picture is from, oh, I put a little label down there, but it's from Reader's Digest. And I just backed with cardstock so you can like glue that down, make a flip out, make a tip in. Just all the things you can do. <laughs> you can do all the things. This is another little 
over the top of the page piece. So it's paper that has been, this one looks, this paper looks avocado dyed and this is a printed piece on here, this little postcard piece. But that's on some pretty scrapbook paper. But like, like I said, I, I had to use those. Uh, I think they're beautiful and in fact, one day I might just um, print out some more ephemera because I have all the the uh, digital kits from when I was on digital on the um, design teams and there are some beautiful beautiful pieces on there so one day I might have to print out some things if I start running out of things or just because they're so pretty okay we've got a hymn book page some more of that check paper look at this beautiful scrapbook paper and it's the one I used on the inside here on the inside of the front cover okay so here's that check spot of that little piece from the music book I uh, put it on that journal page, the six, it was from the six ring binder or planner. And so I turned it around because I wanted a nice solid piece to uh, sew this onto. I didn't want the holes to be in the way of that or putting anything in and out. So I turned the holes around and so the holes are under here on this one. So I covered them and reinforced them over here with some pretty scrapbook paper on both sides. And then you've got the tuck spot here with one of my scrappy tags. Those are sewn around, and of course you can write on the back. And then here is the piece of flap. So this can also be a little tuck spot there. Um, gosh, I put everything away. <laughs> I cleaned up my craft room. But if you had it, if you have something, you can tuck it right in. I think I'm going to grab something so you know. Let me grab. I don't want to take anything out of the goodie pack. I want everything to stay in there. So let me grab one more thing. The phone. I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to grab something real quick. Uh, well, I'll say I'm going to be quick. Here we go. This is a little uh, piece I made from. Oh, this is from. Uh, what should I call it? Work basket, probably. It's a little piece of ephemera that I had made. So we'll poke that right in there. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is from that sewing technique piece of ephemera. This is coffee dye paper and if you remember, saw my video where I was opening up uh, the Ada cloth. I don't know if you've seen that video by the time you see this video. I don't know if this one will be out but I opened up. It's a thrifty Thursday and I opened uh, some Ada cloth that I had got at a thrift store. It was never opened I don't think. I opened it up and all these little inspection expected by eight. <laughs> About eight of them fell out of there out of one piece of Ada cloth out of one package. Eight of these fell out, something like that. It was crazy. So anyway, there it is. Some desk ephemera for you. <laughs> it's inspected by eight. Uh, this is pretty scrapbook paper. On here I have a match book for you. So it's actually an old vintage match. You know, it was like this. And it's just opened up so you can use that somewhere in here and have some fun with that decorating. Doing whatever your imagination takes takes you to. This is the card where I kept it all together as a like kind of look a little booklet because it's four pages. So you know it just you just flip like this through the four pages. And you have the whole card right here together too. And it's beautiful. So here is some uh, sewing instruction. That's sewing instruction paper. This is the other book that I showed you that had the different symbols on each page that I thought was so cool. So this is this one says Greek right here. So this is, I guess, Greek symbols. And there's some other things over here, some other kind of symbols. <laughs> coffee dyed paper. This is that coffee, that scrap of paper that looks like fancy coffee dyed paper. It has a flip out on this side. And it, it all the scrapbook papers in here are coffee dyed. And then this is um, resume paper, and this is a beautiful tag I had made a while ago. It's got an old piece of linen, like tablecloth on here, and then this embroidered piece, a little something else that from something, you know, all these pieces are from tablecloths and linens that I've cut up, so, you know, you, they're just, there's a little topper. It looks almost like tatting, but I don't think it is. I think it's probably commercially made, and then there's a little piece here, too cut off of a doily or something. So those are all in there on that resume paper. So there's lots of writing space, lots of decorating space. Here's the other half of that card that had August on it. A little tag here on this hymn book page. 
cute little oh this is printed too yep i think that's from daisy i think i think i think <laughs> i think it is she's tsunami rose if you don't know who daisy is she's tsunami rose i was on her design team uh coffee dye paper this is that beautiful paper oh i love i love that so much i hope i have some more or at least one more piece Anyway, there's a pocket there, a few pieces here, just decorated, kind of, this was a scrappy piece from, uh, this red piece was from my braille paper, that was a cover on the braille paper, and then I just put these pieces on here to make it into a tag, and uh, you can see the lace and everything there, a little piece here with a little cluster there, looks like a check, kind of like a check. And then a pretty little tag here. Got a pretty little embroidered flowers there. Some more check paper. The check register paper, I'm going to call it. Sewing instruction, a book page. This is the, there's two of these in here. I don't know if I passed one already, but this plain page, it looks kind of grungy. It's from this book, 1911. So this is a 1911 book page. <laughs> it was the plain ones. All, all the book pages I had from this, I don't know what happened to the rest of them. I don't know if I ever had them. This is some more of that pa pa that pa the pages from that book with the symbols. So you can see like different arrows on this side and other little symbols on this side. I just thought that was really unique. So I wanted to, I want to use that book page here, pretty paper, some more symbols, coffee dyed paper, and I believe this is the last page here, pocket with some tags and things, so it's a pretty tag, I think that's from, is that from a magazine maybe, could be Ideals magazine, and a couple of drilling card and a tag, this one has a pretty bird, is this a pocket? No, it's a glue down. There's a number there. This is tatting. This is um, old tatting here. This is vintage or could be antique. And then some pretty lace down there. And this scrappy drawing card here. Uh, so I think these are from a magazine. But they're not They're not shiny. They're kind of... I won't say what magazine it is, but it's from a magazine. If you recognize it, you know what magazine it's from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... And this is the uh, last page. So... When you uh, close this journal up, just leave this part back here. Like, don't try to do this because it's blocked. Like, this is how the coils are. So you just leave your back cover down and then just flip all the pages back over like that. Otherwise, you'll be like, what is happening here? <laughs> but this is how it works. You just flip everything back over. There you go. And then again, if you haven't seen my other spiral um, like this, o-ring binders you can open this up flat and work on a page you can flip this back work on a page or you can flip it out and work on a page so very cool right i think so <laughs> i love that i'll have to show you my my o-ring binder one day i have shown it to you before but it was a long time ago okay now the goodies so um if you noticed i didn't put a lot of I put a lot of stuff in here, but I could have put more. But look what look how fat it is already. And I knew it would get like that if I put too much in here. So I really couldn't put any more in there. So I put it all right here. It wouldn't even all. I picked out this envelope, and then I kept adding and adding. And so there's extra. But let me show you. I've got lots of goodies here. Let's do this first. So I've got a couple of bags here for you. This is a, I believe this is a bread bag. I'm going to say, but it's long and narrow. It's got a gusset, and it's uh, just craft, you know, so you can cut that up, do whatever. This is another bag. <clears throat> if I were using this, I would cut this little piece off, this little wired piece that's like the closure for it, but I left it on in case somebody wanted it. But it's another fun little size paper bag. And then a third bag I put in here was a popcorn bag. So those three bags. And then uh, some book pages. So this is... um. This is from the Cricut magazine. I I think I sold all my Cricut magazines recently, but I had used one. <laughs> I had used one myself and sold the rest. But these are these two pages are from a Cricut, you know, a vintage, that's a children's magazine if you never heard of it. But it's a vintage uh, children's magazine that I had a collection of. 
some book pages here, extra vintage. These are all vintage uh, book pages, so extra pages there. Some uh, music and hymn book pages. I put different sizes in here, and um, I have a lot of different size and different hymn books. So it's, they're fun to use as well as book pages because they're different sizes and different uh, colors. So if you can see this, this is a different size. And this one looks like a little browner, but this is a different brown. So kind of fun to use those. <clears throat> and then this is a, a sewing instructions and then extra. And this is a little vintage math book page. So all of that, as well as this envelope now I don't know if I made this or I got this in Happy Mail, and so I know if I if I got it in Happy Mail, I know who sent it to me, but I don't want to say because I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's a beautiful envelope, either way. So let's see what's in here. So you'll have this envelope. I don't know what I'm gonna put this stuff in. It wouldn't fit in one of the bags, so I'll have to figure that out. But it's a nice thick envelope, so you can always um, cut this in half too if you wanted to use it as. Like you could use it as a pocket, cut it in half, glue the flap down, and you have a pocket. That's one idea. Okay, let's go ahead and flip through here. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to put two of these in here. I don't have very many of these, so I'm going to take one out, if you don't mind. <laughs> anyway, this is a little label. It should be vintage. I got this from someone, uh, a little kind of a subscription pack. Uh, so I put a lot of scraps in here because... Like I said, I wanted to do more in there, but I couldn't uh, make a lot of little uh, extra little flips and flaps. So if you can make a, you can make little tabs with these. You can make a little, just glue this down and make an extra little drilling spot. So lots of things you can do, even with these little scraps like that. Some tickets. I think I coffee dyed these, or look like I might have cut them. No, I don't think I. Maybe someone sent these to me. I don't know, but they're really cute and they look coffee dyed. Uh, this is one of those little envelopes that I got from Timu. It's like looks like a kind of like a airmail envelope, and it uh, opens up. I didn't glue it together, but I put some stamps in here, and there's lines in here, so you can put this in somewhere and use it for like a journaling spot and then like write in there if you wanted to, or you could glue it together and use it for an envelope. A uh, coin roller. This is a pocket. I made. I've been making some of these this week out of scraps. And I decided just to put some of my scraps together. So this is was I had a bunch of this size scraps. So this is the little pocket. It is narrow, but you can fit something in here. Here's the pocket. I'm just showing you how how big it is. And then I had I used some of my scraps and I was punching some stars and hearts out of them. So I put two of the little stars right there. So a little pocket you can put somewhere. Uh, this is also I showed you these uh, one of my mobile craft videos where I was putting some book pages together. And I had this together as a book page, and I had this paper in here so you could write, but I didn't have it decorated. So since then, I've decorated the front, just added some little collage pieces here. And a little butterfly, that's from Timu. Acetate sticker. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So, and then I, it, I put a library pocket in here with a coffee dyed index card. And those do fit in your library pocket in case you wanted to use it like that. A coffee dyed doily, a large manila tag, a, those are so thick they always feel like two, a flash card, that's a vintage flash card, card of course, this is a coffee dyed flash card, uh, this fun envelope, uh, I think this well, has a dollars on there so I don't know what you're supposed to put in here, but there's a little window here, I guess you can probably see that, but there's a window in it, so that is a, I only have like one or two. I think somebody sent me these in Happy Mail. I love it. So I knew you would love it. So that's why I put it in here. This is the spine from the book. And even the little these two little pieces came off the ends. So I put those in here for whoever gets this journal in case they would like to do something with those, which I I would I would have done something. I I mean I could have decorated a lot more in here, but I didn't I just, you know, it's already fat enough. So <laughs> these are the cutoffs from those check register papers. And I put this band in here in case somebody wanted to use it for a closure. So in case you're, you know, you can take everything out of here and then decorate it and put in what you want. But 
in case it doesn't get too fat, you can still use this little band to kind of hold it closed like this. Okay. It works. It doesn't get too fat for it, but there you go. So that's a little closure. I didn't put it on because I like it without it, but um, in case you do want a closure, I wanted to put one in here. And then I put an extra, let's see, I put an extra piece of that trim that I used on the covers. This is an extra piece. You'll see when you, whoever gets this, you'll see. This is naturally aged. Whatever staining or whatever you see on here is, you can tell it's old and uh, it's got stains on it. A look kind of, I don't know, just it probably age spots or whatever. But it's it's really pretty and, and kind of delicate looking. And then you'll see the little flowers I was talking about, the little raised flowers. A couple more scraps here. Uh, this is another thing I've been doing this week. I've kind of been making some little... And what gave me this idea was uh, the Santa Claus uh, kind of stencils that I got that I put in my Christmas journals. If you saw those, it had a piece of paper and it had a, like a stencil with it. So you're supposed to stencil or whatever, but I thought it would be cute tags. So I just may, you know, I'm putting these, I'm going to be putting these in some of my journals where I just punched out a couple of stars here. So you could put these together and make a tag. You can decorate this. And then you see the color through the little punch outs. And you know, then I have the stars too to use. So <laughs> kind of something different, right? A little tally card that you could glue down somewhere. You could put paper in here for writing if you want, you know, or just decorate whatever you want to do. But that's a fun little kind of could be a fun little journaling spot. Don't fall over now. Right, let me put the lace on top that's causing an avalanche. Or something's causing an avalanche here. Okay, some Monopoly money. Uh, all the Monopoly money in here came from the thrift store or an old game that I had that I recently took apart because we have so many Monopoly games so we didn't need one of them, one of the older ones. And we don't play it anymore. So here's a blue tag. Oh, here's a little price tag. <laughs> Desk ephemera for you. You know you, they don't put price tags on anything anymore, right? I mean... If you see a price tag, it's very rare. Like it's in a thrift store or something probably that doesn't have UP, UPC codes or whatever. But anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting and old. I was going to use it myself, but I thought it was sitting on my, on my desk here. And so I just put it in here for you to decorate. I mean, wouldn't it be cute right there on that t blue tag? <laughs> so fun, right? Uh, two little Rolodex cards that I made out of scrapbook paper. It's card stocky. They're beautiful. I thought they would match the journal. So I put them in here. And you get this little kind of postcard book. I was going to put some postcards in, in here too. Or, in, you know, I was looking at postcards. I was going to put postcards in here. And then I found this little book. So it's a little, um, you get, they're all postcards. This is um, written on a little inscription here. Oh, it's in Spanish or something. So if you know Spanish, you can read this. But it's, here's what it says in the front. Let me show you so you can see it good. Here's the back airline of some kind. Oh, this shows maybe a diagram of the trip. That's interesting, a little map there. And then, then, uh, okay, so this, here's the cover, and then you have, the, they're like papery pictures, but they're post, they're also postcards. There's a postcard on the back. So I thought it was really interesting, very tropical pictures in here of somewhere, I, I don't know, I don't know where this is. I, I, I should Google that and see where that is. But very pretty pictures in here. Let's see. No, I can't really. I'm trying to see. This is a hotel. I'm trying to see if I can see what country this is. Colombia, it says right here. Okay, that says Colombia. Okay, on the top there, they say Barranquilla, Colombia. <laughs> So, yeah, you'll get this little postcard book here. But these are papery postcards. And, the, and then you have the covers that are cardstock. So I thought that was fun. So, yeah, I put kind of like I wanted to put a little, since I put, couldn't put everything in there in the journal that I wanted to, I wanted to put kind of like a little kit almost, a little journal kit almost together, you know. So so that is the kit that you'll get, everything you'll get there, and, and the, the pretty tassel. 
that'll come along with it. So I hope you enjoyed this journal and the flip through. Stay tuned for my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell with the all so you'll get my, my uh, notifications. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.